Hey guys, Corey Scott here, uh, criminal defense attorney here in Indianapolis, Indiana. And I want to talk to you for a moment. D do you mind if I just get a little bit in your business for a moment? I mean, you know, do you mind? I mean, because I want to talk about something. And I want to talk about this because this has really been bothering me. And it's this idea that there are some people that are in trouble in jail, in prison, behind the walls, all because they didn't know when to stop hanging with someone, when to stop dating someone, when to leave certain people alone. You know, when I think about this, though, you know, I think about that, that you know, the song, um, I think it's Kenny Rogers, the gambler. You know, the lyrics say, you know, you have to know when to hold them. You have you, you have to know when to fold them. Know when to walk away and you have to know when to run. And I think I've talked about this before, but these lyrics keep coming back because they fit these circumstances. So here's the circumstance number one. I know that you've known this person for years and years. I, I know. And I know you guys went to elementary school and y'all came up and y'all played ball and y'all played maybe athletics together. And this person is just a fun person. This person is almost like a kindred spirit. And you guys have fun and, and you know, this person is nice to be around and you are a loyal person. But have you noticed that here lately when you're with that person, things somehow always end up to where you're in trouble, they're in trouble and things don't go the right way? Have you noticed that when you freely associate with this person, you end up losing your freedom most of the time? Have you also noticed that it seems like you're the one that's left holding the bag most of the time and this person ends up going scot-free? It just seems to work out that way. And hey, here's the other scenario. I know that you have dated this person for a long time. I know that you have feelings for this person. I know that you may even love this person, but how many times are you gonna go to jail for this person? I mean, this person has used the criminal justice system time and time again to get you in trouble. And the way it normally works is, you guys get in an argument, they call the authorities, you end up in jail, and maybe you might end up on probation or something, or you may be being supervised by the court. And what that person does is everything's good as long as everything's good. But when things aren't good, things go bad for you because they go to the authorities every time and they sick the authorities on you. I have seen this play out time and time and time again to where the criminal justice system is used to constantly lock people up, give them consequences that perhaps, you know, really they don't deserve. But, you know, a lot of times, you know, these are domestic situations to where things are fabricated, things are exaggerated. And that part is wrong. But what I'm saying to you, though, is how many times does it take for you to go to jail, to go to prison, to be in a bad situation before you say, you know what, I'm going to have to cut this person off because if I'm going to get to where I need to go, they they just can't be a part of it because we just don't work well together. Or when are you going to just say, you know what, I love you, but I'm going to have to love you from a distance because loving you is hurting me. I know this is not the typical legal video. This isn't, we're not talking about evidence and suppression of evidence, but I am talking about this because I have seen this happen time and time again. I'll give you an example. I had one client to where this person was deemed to be a habitual offender. And when I look back over his record, all of his cases involved his relationship with this one person. So in other words, he kept going back to jail and even prison over and over and over again, all because of one relationship that he didn't know 
when to say when. He didn't know that it was time to turn. It was time to walk away. And indeed, it was time to run. But he didn't know when to fold him. And so I am talking to you and I'm talking to you. But hey, if you have a family member that you know is stuck in this vicious cycle to where they just keep going around and around and around and they seem to be stuck on stupid and just doing the same thing over and over again, share this video because I am speaking about this because I've seen this happen time and time again. So if you're watching this video, listen, think about what I am saying and seriously, you need to, it's time to cut the ties. It's time to stop this cycle of destruction. The saying is that insanity is to do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. If you're in that situation, stop it. Cut the ties, go a different way, do something different and get a different result. Until next time, I am Corey Scott. If you have any other questions for me, please feel free to reach out. Be more than happy to hear from you. And remember, if you have to be guilty of anything, be found guilty of greatness. Until next time, take great care.